This weekend we are camping in central Oregon. We have found a nice place to camp next to the John Day River. It's in the trees and sheltered from the desert wind, which is really important when you're tent camping. We are here at the Clarno unit of the John Day Fossil Beds National Monument, and we're going to explore the three short trails here. This is the geologic time trail. Signs along the way note events of the last 50 million years. Each foot of trail represents 37,000 years. The arch trail climbs up to a natural arch cut into the cliff by erosion. There are two fossilized logs in the cliff face, one horizontal and one vertical. Some other hikers pointed out this honeycomb built by bees high above us on the cliff. This is the trail of fossils where people can see fossils in the rocks. Large boulders contain visible plant fossils from the forest that existed in this area 44 million years ago. We finished up our short little hike and now we're at an old pioneer cemetery above the John Day River looking for a geocache. We walked up an old, almost invisible road to get up here so I don't think this place sees many visitors. It was a pretty nice view up here. This is another nearby Pioneer Cemetery. Time for dinner. We had fun watching this osprey on the utility pole across the river. Careful. Unfortunately, our camping neighbors just up the road decided to start target shooting, which was loud, annoying, and dangerous. Before we lost a signal Friday morning, we had checked the weather and there was no rain anywhere in the forecast. So we were pretty surprised when it started raining at 10 p.m. It rained all night and into the morning. Finally, I got hungry enough that I just cooked breakfast in the rain. After cooking breakfast at the picnic table in the rain, we are now eating in the car to stay dry. Because of the weather, we postponed today's hike to Horse Mountain and instead drove down to the Painted Hills unit of the John Day Fossil Beds National Monument and hiked up to Carroll Rim. The view up here is great. What wasn't so great was the six discarded banana peels scattered around up here. Always pack out your trash, even food waste.
Back at camp that evening, we watched two ospreys. This one was eating some fish up on a utility pole. It was a gorgeous Sunday morning. We ate breakfast, packed up camp, and headed out for a hike. We hiked through the Spring Basin Wilderness and up to Horse Mountain. After following old jeep tracks and then doing a bit of cross country, we made it up to Horse Mountain where we had 360 degree views of the surrounding landscape. It was so remote here that even up on this high point, we didn't have a cell phone signal. We hiked back down to the car and drove home. <laughs> 